Hello, fans and friends of the world of paleoanthropology. Today, I would like to welcome you to this week's episode of Paleo Fridays, despite it actually being a Sunday that this will be posted. Unfortunately, due to the fact that on Friday, I was not paying attention, tripped and fell and almost broke my foot. It's pretty screwed up right now, and it delayed me a bit in getting this video done. But here we are. And I am ready to do this. I'm excited. We wanted to learn about the oldest stone tools is what the polls across social media showed. And of course, that is the way that we do things. I don't just go off of one option. I pick a few and we see what is going to be the winner. So the winner was the oldest stone tools, which I think is a very exciting topic that we're going to be discussing. I did write an article about this and some news that was concerning this back in June, and I will link the article in the description for you all to read. Now, I would like to just discuss the basics with you guys, because stone tools, or lithic tools, lithics as they are officially known, is extremely important in archaeology, anthropology, bioarchaeology, anything that you're doing where you're looking for a presence of human activity in the past. Because while stone tools were not the, probably the first tools that we used, we were probably using bone and wood tools, those don't preserve as well in the archaeological record as something like lithics or stone tools do. So while it may seem like we have all these stone tools and stone tool manufacturing was the beginning of tool use in our lineage, it probably dates back much earlier, but we just don't have a trace of this. But as many people like to say, a lack of evidence is not evidence for the lack of existence. There's something along those lines. So, of course, we have suspicions that tools older than the ones that we currently have and suspect, but we just don't have the proof of it, at least not yet. So, basically, stone tools go in a pretty... They're categorized in... They're called complexes, industrial stone tool complexes. And in the past, for most of what we know about stone tools, and what is still taught today, the oldest stone tools are the old one tools. And these are called this because they were found in abundance in Old Divai Gorge in Africa. And these are very simple stone tools. They are made for slicing meat off of bone, chopping, they're handheld, they fit in the hand, very small. Almost no effort or thought put behind creating them. There's no pattern behind them. They're just rocks that have been manipulated by some form of humanoid, whether it was Homo habilis, which is known as the handyman because we believe he was the first stone tool maker, or if it was an earlier Australopith, which is seeming more likely. The old one tools date to around 2.6 million years old, and as I said, were the oldest stone tool complex known until recently, which we will get into in a moment. After the old one tools come the Acheulean tools, which is where we finally start to see a real pattern emerge, where Homo is really creating an industrial complex that is spread throughout the population across continents, because we see this with Homo erectus, which is the first hominin to leave Africa and explore the world as we know it. And while, of course, they did not get as far as Homo sapiens do later on, we do see their evidence all the way into Europe and Georgia, and we see their stone tools, the Acheulean tools everywhere. And again, these tools, tools and their most prolific example is the hand axe, which you might have heard of. This belongs to the Acheulean tradition started by Homo erectus, and we can see it grow and blossom from there as we see it transition from the Acheulean into later stone tools, which we're not going to talk too much about because this video is about the oldest stone tools that we find in Africa, but after the Acheulean, we see the Mousterian, we see modern human tools, we see many different complexes 
um, the Magdalenian. There's many different kinds that Neanderthals use depending on where they were. There's a lot of variety in the tools Neanderthals use. And then, of course, when we get to the Homo sapiens, while there's, of course, a pattern, we just see such a wide variety of tools, what they're used for and how they're used across the planet, depending on environmental needs of the population. But we're going to be talking about the oldest stone tools. Now, as I said, the Oldowan tools, which were found in Oldowai Gorge, date to about 2.6, 2.9 million years ago. That, that's old. That's very old. That is dating to around Homo habilis and possibly right before. However, at a different site in Africa called Lomekwi, there have been tools, stone tools found that we believe. Now, of course, this is controversial. There are some scientists who don't agree with this, this conclusion and more research needs to be done on this location. But we believe that a new search has found tools that would have been used definitely by Australopithecus afarensis also known as Lucy species, because in the site in Lomekwi, we have found the earliest snap tools dating to 3.3 million years ago, almost an entire million years older than the first old one tools discovered, which is completely groundbreaking, groundbreaking on what we understand about lithics. Because if Australopithecus afarensis was making stone tools, this of course pushes back the idea of when wood and bone tools were made. So, Frankly, I mean, we know chimps use tools. We've seen them use wooden tools. So the idea that tool use in the human lineage going back farther really should not be that much of a surprise, as we can probably find it going all the way back to the last common ancestor with chimps and bonobos, if not further, which is about 7 million years ago. So wood and bone tool use, we really have absolutely no idea when that started, when it ended, but we know when stone, again, lithic, I want to get that word out there so people can know and understand it. When lithic tools were first discovered, it is now seeming to be 3.3 million years old at the site of Lomekwi. Now, there's a lot of reasons that this site is controversial, and there's a lot of special reasons why it should be seriously considered. Now, like I said, this discovery pushes back what we knew about the creation of stone tools roughly 700,000 years. And this discovery, which was found in specifically Lomekwi 3 in Kenya in 2011 by Sonia Harmond and co-author Jason Lewis from Stony Brook University, they believe these stone tools are legitimate and were used by Australopithecus afarensis, if not another species at around the same time in this area. And you can see pictures of these tools, which is what I'm looking at right now. And I'm, I'm just amazed looking at them again, how simple these tools are. And yet you can, to my eye at least, and my eye is not extremely trained at stone tools, I can see the manipulation where a hominin of some sort took their hands and worked these stones to make them into some sort of tools for some sort of purpose. Now, of course, we would most likely assume that purpose would have something to do with food consumption, getting meat off of bones, or it could have even, I mean, that early on, that's pretty much what we're dealing with is food consumption, because what else do Australopithecines do besides eat and survive? That's kind of their thing. And they did it really well, or we wouldn't be here today. But, of course, the idea that, let's say, they were weapons, the idea that hominins are maybe, um The idea that hominins are innately aggressive and that they made tools specifically for warfare, for hurting other humanoids, it, it's just a ridiculous idea. And please do not watch the beginning of the Space Odyssey and believe that that was what our ancestors did and looked like. Um, it's a very big misconception. And as we can see by these stone tools, they would not have been used for that. They're very simple. But so I just really want to get the idea out there that the old one tools are not the oldest tools anymore. They might be the oldest that most researchers have confirmed to be stone tools, 
But since 2011, there have been other tools out there known to the community, again, called the Lomequian Stone Tool Complex, dating to 3.3 million years old, that way outdates the older one tools and are quite different in their make and the way they were made. And even though they were probably used for the same things, it's clear that a different brain formed these tools than what formed later tools. And I think that's what's important and what to know. But just remember, they were still making them. Whatever creature this was had a brain with the capacity to formulate and think ahead and create a tool to use. And that is just fascinating. And the fact that we see chimps do this today is just astounding. And I think a lot more research needs to be done on modern primate behavior. Although please remember, and this is a big problem in the community as well, when we compare modern day primates to past hominins, modern day primates have had that many years, that many millions of years of evolution to get to where we are, they are today. So how they act today is not how they acted 7 million years ago. And we should not think a hominin 7 million years ago acts like a chimp does today because they are different animals, they're different species, they're different genuses, and they're spread across millions of years. So to think that they behave exactly the same is not the way to go. Can we glean insights from modern day primates? Of course we can. And it's an important thing to do. And I think studying how tools are made in ape communities and how they're used can give insights into the earliest stone tools. But for now, I think what we really need is more evidence. We need more fossils. We need more stone tools. What we really need is associated bones, faunal remains with cut marks on them near Lomequi 3, near these stone tools, because that association would almost definitely make that connection that these rocks are not just rocks, but they are tools that were used to do whatever they did to these bones, to deflesh them, to do whatever. So once that association is made, I think the nail will be in the coffin and we'll be able to say that the Lomequian tool complex as 3.3 million years is in fact the oldest known so far. And I think that wraps it up for this episode of Paleo Fridays. I hope you learned something. And if you did, please like and subscribe. And make sure to hit that notification button and turn it on so you never miss an episode. Remember, we have three, or I, there's really only me right now. We have th- I have three video series going on. The Story of Us, where I interview researchers in the field to get updates on what they're going on. This series, Paleo Fridays, where I try to get a new video out on news or other ongoing events every Friday. And a new bi-weekly series called Skulls with Seth, where we will do an introduction on a species and we will look at their craniums and do a quick but detailed examination of what they are based on their skulls. I think it's going to be really exciting. So far, the first episode was a big hit. I hope you guys loved it. Stay tuned for more, and I'll see you next time. Have a great week. Bye.